What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing amazing. It's your boy Vini back with another serum tutorial. It's kind of a part two to the first video I made for serum tips. Highly suggest you go binge that when you're done with this one if you're a serum enthusiast. Just a quick reminder to regularly mutilate the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So in the previous video, I showed a couple tips regarding knobs in Serum and how you can manipulate them by typing in values and percentage. An absolute chat of a viewer going by the name of Drogissa Boca indicated in the comments that the same thing basically applies to the ADSR values. Let me explain. So you probably know you can move this knob or type in the milliseconds for the attack value, for example. Well, you can also type in one quarter and that understands that it's one quarter of a note at the current BP. BM. Music math just for fun, 60 seconds, so one minute equals 60,000 milliseconds. 60,000 milliseconds divided by the BPM equals a quarter note. Okay, so nobody cares about that, right? You can do the same thing for every single AHDSR knobs in Serum, so you can actually sync these envelopes to your song's tempo. Just before rendering this video, I realized that the portamento knob actually follows the same behavior. Yay! At some point, you might have wondered how or if it's possible to automate the curves in the envelope and the LFO tabs. I certainly did, and I have the answer. It is possible to do it, even if it's not obvious at first. For the envelope tab, it's not too complicated. Move it and then browse your parameters, depending on what DAW you're using. This process can change. You can find the a curve one, which means the attack on the first envelope, you can just automate that setting. For the LFO curve, we have to add a single step. We have to link a macro to the curve, head to the mod matrix, make sure the modulation can go both ways and raise the amount. And when your LFO is actually modulating something, so right now it's modulating wavetable position. If I move the macro, it moves the curve. So I can automate the macro and that would mean automating the curve of the LFO. This section is going to be a compilation of tips to make your life easier when using the LFO tab. First tip, as you probably know, if you make a really intricate shape in the LFO tab and you think you're going to reuse that in the future, just click on this little folder icon, save shape as these nuts on the folder icon on the user. These nuts is right here. Another thing that's really cool, say I want to copy and paste the shape from LFO1 to LFO2. If I hold Alt, click on it and drag it to the second LFO. Then I click on it, it pasted the shape. Here's another tip. If you want to quickly navigate between the LFO shapes, when you're clicking on the folder icon, hold Alt, you're going forward in the list. And if you hold Shift and Alt, you can go backwards in the list. And I have another tip for you guys, but before I deliver, make sure you obliterate the like button. Every day, all I wish for is more than four LFOs in Serum. Yeah, me too, Bob. And luckily you have more than four LFOs in Serum. So if they're all assigned to a parameter, let's go and just do some random stuff. Boom, LFO five appears. Boom, LFO six, seven, and eight. You can also assign them all in the mod matrix. Now this section only applies to my guys using FL Studio. If you're not on this DAW, you can probably skip ahead. Starting with the mod wheel, it's actually not at all intuitive to get it to work in Serum or in FL Studio as a whole, but there's a fix for that. So what you'll do in Serum is manually move the mod wheel right here, then click on browse parameters from this drop down menu. Find the mod wheel parameter. It should be highlighted because we just moved it. Right click on it, hit override global link this little window pops up move your mod wheel now when you go back to serum it works this should make any scent with a mod wheel parameter work straight off the bat even if you close and reopen fl you should not have to repeat these steps it should be good to go straight up big shout outs to index on the discord forum for explaining how to do this let's move on to the pitch wheel in fl studio so you can use the full range of two octaves that serum offers in order to do so go in the bottom left of serum and instead of two type in 24 on the other one type in minus 24 now click on the cogwheel icon at the top go in the second menu and under send pitch bend range put this at 
2 then go ahead and tick the option now when we go back in serum and play around with the pitch wheel so we now have the full range if you wanted to have less range you could go in here and type 12 and minus 12 this would give you one octave up one octave down so just use that same logic one equals one semitone don't forget to replace your current serum with the new one under add to plugin database flag as favorite so that it remembers the options that you just inputted thanks a lot for sticking around and watching the video guys i hope you learned something today to learn more serum tips go check out the video i linked in the description below i also have on my channel multiple videos where i explain how to make certain sounds like an 808 a plug bass some keys so go check that out and if you want to be an absolute chad like the two guys i mentioned in the video drop a comment with your secret technique a tip you think could help other people use serum i'll be sure to make a part three for the video and give you a shout out Peace.